Hey you birds, welcome to Gratitude Friday. I'm not sure how the sound's going to turn out on this one because in the past uh, this particular camera has a loud buzzing sound in the background. But um, for today's video, I actually wanted to do a little haul. So if you're not aware, um, I, if you're a subscriber, um, you know I just recently got on the Hampton Art Design team. Um, and I got my first shipment within the last week, my quarterly shipment of stamps. And it's just amazing. I'm just so happy. And for all of you stamping addicts, that's Papusa in the background. For all of you, stamp for all of you stamping addicts, um, you know how awesome it is to have a, a steady stream of supplies coming your way to play with. Um, and not have to make a huge dent in the bank account. Um, but, since I do have stamps, I have felt the need for some paper. And I have a, a big um, tax refund coming because of my low income the last year. <laughs> um, so, um, that's, that's what's going to pay for this. Anyway, this is Bow Bunny. I'm, I'm really excited these days about Bow Bunny. Little Lily B. Uh, Basic Gray has just come out with a PB and J that I also am going to be getting. I don't know if it came with this shipment, but this was from Scrapbook.com. And what I love about Scrapbook.com is they have everything. Um, I sometimes shop with other vendors because of the free shipping, but Scrapbook.com really does seem to have just about everything. So. Um, I was just flipping through this package, this this Bow Bunny Forever Fall collection, and I'm seeing a couple that are going to be my favorites. I love that one. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see. Oh, 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 oh. yes, love those colors. And this is for for autumn, but um, you know I'm I'm starting to look at that blue. Oh. Um, I think, actually, Donna Salazar does some really cool stuff with the light turquoise and texture and depth. I, I need to start looking at her stuff a little bit more closely. Um, sunflowers. Okay, so that's, that's my Bow Bunny 6x6. I'm also kind of moving into the scrapbooking vein of things, so... I am starting to get a few sets, um, collections of 12 by 12s But this is, um, this one's been out for a little bit. Uh, Prima's Londonary. That's Papusa crying in the background. Because our relationship has gotten very dysfunctional since her surgery. She wants to be in my lap all the time. And I'm kind of losing it, actually. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, let me just show you. Um, so here's the London area. But I pay, I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, they had a grand opening in my neighborhood. Yay! And I picked up a Botanica set. And um, I made this card. Um, I also got a, a Glitz stamp set. Um, I need to be collecting some more silhouettes because they are awesome. What What they do for a card is just awesome. Anyway, let me just show you. So look at look at the soft textures and depth. Um, and really, I've got to tell you guys, um, having the supplies in my reach that are meant for that kind of effect made it so much easier to create what I had envisioned. I also saw this um, something similar to this um, on a recent Moxie Fab Challenge winner um, winners card. And um, you score down these petals um, to create some beautiful texture. Anyway, May 1st is my day at Hampton Arts, so you'll get to see a, a stepped-out tutorial of how I made that. Which is kind of why um, I worked on the stepped-out tutorial all week. And that's kind of why I didn't have a video for you guys with a tutorial. But um, go over to Hampton, blog, uh, Hampton Arts blog and subscribe, and then you won't miss it. Um, I have a tag that I made also, but I think I'm not supposed to show that because um, it's it's the star of that particular tutorial. 
but that was really cool too. And for that tag, I used, um, I believe it was an ABC primer stamp set, which also, that those graphic 45 stamps really lend themselves well towards um, those soft, textured, romantic feelings. Um, oh wait, let me, let me undo this one. So because I've got that tax refund coming, this is probably one of the biggest shopping sprees I've ever gone on. Usually I just do like $50 so that I can get free shipping from other... Ooh, that is pretty. Um, but this time I just did a whole lump sum and I'm going to try not to buy anything for a while. Um, but <laughs> yeah, last year I only worked half the year. Um, because I moved to Vegas and um, we've started life here. So my income was actually pretty low and I got a, a good tax refund. Um, so I don't know if you, did I, I don't know if I talked about this. Love these papers. They're just so aged and gorgeous. The colors are muted. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun. So this is the A4 size, and I think I can cut up these papers to make, like, two to four cards out of each sheet. Oh, see, I just, I think I'm going to start scrapbooking just with, like, some close to blank canvases with just little bits of text and texture, um, and then um, centering my, my photo in one spot and then sort of um, letting things spread out. But, oh, okay, I'm so excited about that. I also got some graphic 40... Gosh, did they put these all together? Did I get the whole pack? No. Um, so, I got some graphic 45 papers because I've got um, graphic 45 stamps. So I thought, well, let me... You know, I have some some of their papers from their Wizard of Oz collection, um, but um, they've got some new lines, Tropical Travelogue. Oh, so this totally reminds me of Hawaii. These things were growing all over the place, and I love the veining in these types of leaves. It's almost like they're a weed over there. It's just so moist, and life thrives. Okay, so psyched about blue, so psyched about fish. Um, I think I had snorkeled once um, in the Dominican Republic when my sister had a home there. Um, so we saw a few fish, but, you know, um, lots of marine life are dying. Uh, so I think, you know, 10 years ago, there was a lot more to see there. Um, and the same in Hawaii. Um, we went last year. That was my first trip ever to Hawaii. And there were quite a, a bit of, of quite a large number of fish. And snorkeling is now one of my favorite, favorite activities. Um, but my guy had been there like a decade before, and he noticed for sure that there were far fewer fish um, to see. And then I just love that blue. I just saw something. I'm, I've liked this organization called On Earth on Facebook. And they just, ooh, Look, can you see? Okay, I've got to zoom in on that one. This is SEI. I got a few sheets of SEI. Um, wait, can you see? Look at the shimmer. Subtle shimmer. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so psyched about that. That's going to be like autumn. And that's the back. This is SEI Field Notes. This is also SEI Field Notes. I feel like Kitty on the weekly warehouse walk. <laughs> okay, so um, this is graphic 45, and I just I wanted to get a couple of sheets that were pretty neutral, because um, I'm thinking about doing some stuff with whites and creams and texture. Um, so there's that. This is graphic 45 again. Graphic 45. Love this gorgeous woman. Steampunk stuff. This is steampunk debutante. Um, 
And, you know, I have some stamps that are from, let's see, oh, the old Curiosity Shop stamp set. And um, that's definitely steampunky. So I wanted to get some steampunk papers. Oh, you saw that one. Okay, aren't these darling? This is the Little Darlings collection from Graphic 45. So these are their, their border strips. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so if you can see, there's these little baby faces popping out of the centers of these blooms. That is cute. Um, and then you've got these little, like, sort of vintagey baby cartoony drawings and lace. So I was actually thinking maybe of um, doing like a, a box, actually, an altered box um, with some of these papers to hold like things you want, keepsakes from memories you have, have had with your babies. Oh, let me show you the back of this one. Cute little polka dot and it's a little bit distressed. This may end up being just as long as my other videos. Um, more little darlings. I love these little postage stamp things. Um, I think you could cut this apart and use it for a bunch of different projects. So I got two sheets of that. These are nice substantial papers. They're pretty thick. Little baby... Um, antique looking baby clothing um, hanging on twigs. That's cute. I got a bunch of these because this is actually, I think, the one that I wanted to use for the altered box. Altered baby box. Baby baby memories box. Okay, so let me put that aside. Um, I did get a full pack of Graphic 45 Old Curiosity Shop. And I haven't forgotten, I did say I was going to make um, a project with this, and that is coming. That is coming. I'm still working on it. Um, so you can see the papers. Um, glasses. And I actually, I was just uh, fishing around on the internet with my morning espresso, and I think Moxie Fab is having a challenge right now using spectacles. Um, Stamp Man is also having a challenge right now for um, vintage or shabby chic. And sadly, I already made my tag. I think I'm going to make something else for that challenge, just to keep the, the crafty chops chomping. Um, so these colors are also very rich. Muted yet rich. Mm-mm-mm. The Old Curiosity Set um, stamp selection has one of these pigs, and I really like these pigs. <laughs> oh! Kind of paisley. Love paisleys. They're so organic. Numbers. Um, this, this is so bold. I don't, I don't have to try to challenge myself to work with this, because... On a card? I don't know. On, a, on an altered project? Yeah. Okay. I got the Bow Bunny um, Etc. collection pack, and it's definitely... Um, these papers look like something that you'd find in an old box that had been hidden away from ages ago. Um, let's just see what's in here. So you get some stickers. I haven't really had any stickers. And I've got um, an idea for a mixed media project with some original stuff I want to say about how to enjoy life to the fullest. So I think I can use these letters. I think I ordered some letters also from 2Ps um, to create my, my little sayings. But this is a sticker sheet. Okay. Okay, so this is like quadrants. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. I don't know if you saw my blog post about Hampton Arts Designer of the Day. Um, that's at ConsadinaK.wordpress.com. 
um, I talked about how um, I made a couple of crafting friends, and I, I was it was so exciting. So I think um, my friend Kare is going to be scrapbooking, and hopefully we can meet regularly so we can scrapbook together because. Um, you know, I end up doing a lot of cards, and I just need a friend, I think, to help motivate me to to get the scrapbooking going on. Because there are definitely memories that I want to... Oh, I'm not showing you the back. Lovely. Yeah, Bow Bunny is one of my new favorites. Bow Bunny Lily B. Mmm. So that's like a tea dye type of color. And it's like, you know water had fallen, you know, had spilled on this paper. So you've got like little watercolor effects here. I love text. Musical notes. Oh, wow. That's a major musical note. So I think you get two of each. This is kind of a craft, but just with a little extra touch. 1926, that's the year on that newspaper. Some, uh, what is this called? Do these have names? Watermark. See that spilled look? Love it. Spilled ink. Cool. So I have no excuse now not to do my scrapbooking because I've got an amazing, amazing collection of papers to work with. Um, okay, so that's that one. I also got, oh, so I don't know if you knew, I've been shopping around for a good set of stamping markers. And um, I'm sorry guys, I know so many of you are into Copic. And maybe if I actually got my hands on one Copic marker and started using it, I would be hooked. It seems like so many of you are totally hooked. Um, oh, wait, hold on. My battery's going to run out. Um, let me pause it. So, um, no Copics. I think, you know, the budget just does not allow. Um, and I haven't been much of a colorer. So, we shall see. Um, I do feel the need to start coloring. So, um, I saw um, that there's Spectrum Noir, which is kind of like a, a little bit more affordable version of Copics. But from a recent review, I saw um, the people much preferred the, the Copics. So, that's, that's a possible option for me. But I don't want to spend five, six dollars on, on one marker. Um, okay. So there's also a pigment ink um, marker, or like a chapstick called, um, it's from Faber-Castell, it's called Gelatos. And I've seen some really cool effects. There is um, a set that you can buy, um, and I just want to, I'm the kind of person who likes to get the whole shebang at once. Um, and. I, I, that's just the way I am. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they go on like chapstick. I got this black one and this white one. And um, there's also some metallics and some bright colors. So because I haven't been able to get it as a full set, I, I may end up having to get them bit by bit. Um, but these are pigment. And you can do some cool blending with that. Um, and I think with the more primary colors, it, it's a very bold effect. It's very waxy looking. So I ended up getting these. This is a Faber-Castell uh, Stamper's Big Brush. Um, and I, I shopped around, and scrapbook.com, I think, was the only one that had this full set in stock. So I'm really excited to play with those. Um, they also sent me it's five dollars off fifty, so that helps because um, these guys charge on shipping. Um, but they also have some really good sales, so you have to work out um, the difference. 
um, I forget the name. I just recently subscribed to a really fun lady on, on YouTube. It's like M-M-D-O something. But she's like, I absolutely hate, she said, I absolutely hate paying shipping. I'll do anything to avoid paying shipping. And I, I've been the same way. Um, but I think the particular day I went shopping at scrapbook.com, they had some really good sales. So it ended up working out all right. So they sent me this $5 off 50 and then they sent me some, like, flowers for free. Because I did spend a significant sum of money there. <laughs> so, um, so these are cute. These are, what are these? These are, like, kind of papery. Ooh, but I like the texture. Thank you, scrapbook.com. Um, I really like those guys, too. I watch their videos because... I guess it's the owner. She puts out videos pretty regularly about um, new new collections that are out, so I get to see them. And she she presents them in a very nice, clear way, and shows all the um, accessories to various collections, like bling and chipboard stickers and that kind of stuff. I haven't really gone into that realm of buying those things. I, I have preferred to make my own embellishments. But anyway, so these are the jewels that go with, I think, the Forever Fall collection. Yeah. Forever Fall jewels. Um, let me zoom in so you can see. So you've got a nice arrangement of sizes. I almost got their 4th of July collection, this red, white, and blue collection, but I was like, you know what, i got to wait. Um, oh, and here are the metallic gelatos that I just I got from them. Okay. Um, one other thing I want to share with you guys, and this is not part of my haul. This wait before I do that. So these are the the colors. So I'm just getting ready to play with these. These are the Faber Castell gelatos. Um, my new discovery and a new fave. This was part of my um, goodie box that Clearbox sent to me. Um, very generous goodie box. I guess they're partners with um, Hampton Art. And they have a whole range of inks. You know I always use my color box inks and my frost white color box ink. So I've used all their, their pigment inks and I love their petal point. This is their petal point that I, that I got as part of the shipment. This new chestnut color is my fav one of my new favorite browns. Um, but what I was so excited about, and I used on my tag that's going to be on the Hampton Art blog May 1st, were these smooch spritzes. Oh my god. So they're, they're glittery. But it's a nice, um, the glitter is, pervades the, the, the liquid. So it's really like a nice, luxurious amount of shine that you get. And it's not big pieces of glitter. They're really fine pearlescent. Um, okay, I'm not going to show you the tag because I'm not supposed to, but do I still have that piece that I tore? Um, where is it? I don't see it. Um, but, oh god, this, this vanilla shimmer? Okay, this is vanilla shimmer. vanilla shimmer. Okay, so it's got a little spritzer at the top, and um, the, what's really cool, and I, I think I mentioned it either in my recent blog post or in the stepped out tutorial, these come in these, okay, so this is good marketing too. Um, the, the, the product is really good, but the marketing, the way they packaged it, these come in these glass vials, like, they're like test tubes, so you almost feel like a scientist. Um, they're, they're nice and weighty, they're not a light, cheap plastic, they're glass. So it's really fun to handle these too. I, I want to reach for them. So I know I'm going to use this a lot because it just adds sort of a diamondy pearlescent sheen to whatever you're working on in whatever color. I haven't played with these yet, but I'm going to. This is um, called Sun Kissed. This is called Citrus Tickle. And look at this blue. Woo! Sea Kiss. So this is Smooch Spritz. 
Um, so I think I'm going to definitely have to be collecting um, all of those. <laughs> and is that the end of my haul? That's it. I also have a package coming from Two Peas, so I may just share that with you guys, too. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, and I hope there are some products in here that, you know, um, you haven't seen before, that you haven't tried out, that, you know, you're willing to give a shot at this point. Um, I'm really psyched to start playing and, and share with you all the uh, projects to come with my new stamps and these inks and markers and all the scrappy goodness. Um, all right, well, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.